So, here I am on the Granite Way, just outside Oakhampton, at the beginning of my first ever solo wild camp. A little bit nervous, if I'm honest, but I'm pretty excited as well. I mean, I've been camping a bunch of times throughout my life, but it's generally been on a campsite with you know, a car full of all the mod cons, duvets, cookers, pool boxes full of food, all that jazz. A uh, bit of glare. But not that today. And I'm heading up towards Meldon Reservoir. Hopefully, my route that I'm taking over the course of today and tomorrow is going to cover about 30 kilometers. Although, when I planned the route, I was. I thought I was going to start at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but it's just gone 9 o'clock at the minute, so I'm going to have a bit more time on my hands, so maybe we'll walk a bit further than that. Uh, but the route is going to go up past Meldon Reservoir, we're going to walk along the west edge of the lake, then cut up onto Dartmoor, and I'm hoping to camp at either Wild Tour or Watton Tour which are about 20k from here. So, current plan is to get there and see what time it is, reassess the situation. If I've got a lot of time on my hands, I'm gonna go off and have an explore around some of the other tours. And then in the morning, I'm gonna be finishing the trek by hiking down to Chagford, which is about another 10 kilometers from Wotton Tour. Okay, so, not a huge amount of anything of interest here at the moment, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Uh, I'm off the prescribed path a little bit at the moment, but I'm heading in the right direction, so I figured I just wanted to have a little bit of a look around. Some of this stuff looks familiar from when I used to come down here as a kid, but it's a long time ago, there's the viaduct. Yeah, just make the most of the calmer, calmer winds whilst I'm down here in the, kind of in this valley. This is before long. <laughs> it's gonna be, I think, yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of wind up on the moors today, if down here is anything to go by. But that's fine. I'll take wind over rain, any day of the week. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm. Okay, so I'm at Top of Melbourne Dam now I'll oh, switch hands a sec Yeah, Top of Melbourne Dam uh, How well you can see it I just came up those steps It's a similar set on the other side And my thighs and knees are killing me. So, with that in mind, I think I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down for a little bit, maybe make a cup of coffee, and then carry on from there. Start with your name. One thing I know is that there should be. I used to come up to Meldon a lot when I was a younger boy, my dad used to bring us up here because he used to live right out in the sort of middle of nowhere. You know, it's a thing, it was the stuff that horror films are made out of that house, right out in the, in the trees, middle of nowhere. Scared the Jesus out of me. Yeah, we used to come here a lot though, so it's a bit nostalgic coming here now. 
Okay, so I think my water's boiling, so I'm gonna go make my coffee. I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I can see a tour off in the distance. This is where a experienced a Dartmoor hiker would tell you what tour that is, but I have no idea. I'd like to think over the coming weeks and months I'm gonna get a bit more familiar with the with the tours in the country out here, but as things stand, I'm completely ignorant. Welcome to Black Tour Cops. And I'm considering stopping here for lunch because it is out of the wind. And look at this place. Oh, let me get down a bit. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the West Oakman River. Been following this now since we left Meldon Reservoir. There's still a little bit of wind down here, but it's not it's not too bad. I think it's probably the best I'm gonna get at the minute. So yeah, I think I might stop here for some lunch. It seems like a really peaceful spot and it would be just my luck that I carry on and don't find anywhere else that's nice. So I've got a bit of time on my hands so I think I'm just going to make the most of this nice little area. So I'm going to get some food on. So I've got my noodles cooking away in here. Um, whilst it is a lovely spot that I've picked to have my lunch, um, it's right by, you know, that little sign <laughs> I showed you. So every man and his dog who's coming along here at the minute is stopping to read it, but um, it's fine. I'm just a little bit self-conscious about filming and talking and that's my problem, not theirs. Uh, noodles are almost done. I'm having a cup of tea, no milk, which is fine. I don't mind black tea, but I'm just thinking I shouldn't really be bringing tea bags. It's more stuff I need to carry out. the camera on there's been a, there's a little lull in the wind at the moment so I thought I'd quickly get some audio in before it gets too loud again. Um, there is a path and you can see it kind of trailing snaking down here and it's over there so I'm gonna pick up with that and head that way and then I should link back up with a path that I should be on. Here we go. So now I'm at the top of High Will Hayes, where I was just now. God knows what that was. I'm absolutely shattered. The climb up here was, yeah, it was pretty steep. The terrain wasn't brilliant. I've, I guess I've just forgotten 
it's been so long since I've walked out on Dartmoor that my yeah <laughs> my expectations have not been set in the correct place in terms of the distance which I'm going to be able to cover in the time which isn't I mean it's turned out alright because ultimately I ended up leaving a lot earlier I ended up leaving a lot earlier than I thought I was going to and and I also I cut the route down because initially I was going to try and do 40 kilometers in the two days I was going to try and cover 30k day one and I was going to be starting at 12 o'clock so that plan would have been <laughs> I'd have been doomed. I'd have profited. I'd have been really back if, if that was the case. So yeah, chopped 10k off the route, changed it. I think that's a good thing. I'm still fairly confident I'm going to cover the 20k. It's just yeah, it's just been a, a bit of a shock, but enjoyable in a lot of ways. The wind is starting to get on my nerves a little bit. But Back to it, just gonna have some water, maybe a snack, and I'm going to Dinger Tour next. Jackie on. I was, I got lulled into a false sense of security. I thought, ah, you know what, it's actually quite warm. I don't need my jacket. Then, I walked around that corner and then it got blown over by the wind, so jacket on, hat on, yeah. Okay, so I've got, well, I got completely lost. Um, uh, I'll go into more detail later on. I'm shattered. I am absolutely shattered. I'm back on track now, thankfully, and I have an actual, an actual trail to follow, which is, which is good. I've, I was lost for about an hour and wandering around like a lost sheep. I'm, I was supposed to be going to Dinger Tour. God knows where Dinger Tour is. It's out there somewhere. I didn't get there. I went. I don't know where I went. <laughs> I sound like such an idiot. Uh, this is hilarious. Um, yeah, the sheep are looking at me like you absolute prat. The wind is really tearing at me, but down here, it's flipping glorious. So I think this is another, if I get lost again, <laughs> this could be another potential campsite if the brown stuff hits the fan but I am remaining positive I'm gonna get where I want to go and it's gonna be glorious look at that tour up there no idea what it's called looks pretty though I will get better I promise at the minute I'm just a flipping tourist yeah so I'm gonna carry on I'll catch up with you in a bit Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my So I made it. I remember at the beginning of this video saying something daft like, oh, if I get there in plenty of time, I'll just go and walk around some of the other tours. Jeez, I am ruined. I am absolutely ruined. My tracker, my tracker turned off. So I don't even know how far I've gone. Probably about 500 miles. Well, no, it's probably somewhere, somewhere between 20 and 25K, but my feet are shredded. Absolutely shredded. I'm tired. <laughs> but I am pretty happy with myself because begin with this you know about when I got lost I was thinking this is silly and I was contemplating turning around and going home but 
I'm happy that I camped at it because I've made it. So here we are on top of Watern Tor. It's right on the edge of the of the um, firing range as well. You can see the. I think you can see. I, I don't know. I'm too knackered to play with the camera at the minute. But you can. The sign's just over there. It's probably about 100, 100 feet, maybe 150 to the edge of the firing range. So. Oh yeah. Right, I'm gonna chill for 10 minutes. I just need to get my breath back and then I'm gonna get my tent set up. So much more to this life. But it's hard to see it clearly. Yeah, I try my best, but nothing turns out. So I've just had some food. I think I feel a bit more human now, which is good. Sun is just starting to set over the over the hill over there. I've been sat kind of staring at the the tours trying to work out where I've come from. And well I know I was over there that's hanging stone hill a bit annoying really that i had to walk all the way round but looks like potentially a bit of a gnarly direct route i think all the way that i think that's higher will haze over there i'm not 100 percent sure as I mentioned before, my, my Dartmoor geography leaves a lot to be desired. It's 20 past 8 at the minute. So, considering the amount of walking and hiking that I've done today, I think an early night is in order. So, to kind of round things up, this has definitely, definitely not gone the way I thought it was going to today. <clears throat> Initially, I thought I would be here at about three o'clock and You know off having a look around some of the other tours But in truth, I barely made it before sunset. I had about an hour to spare before sunset Could have been a bit awkward That's me signing off. I think I'm gonna have a little glass of wine and then get into bed I might do something else. I might film again this evening, but I'm not 100%. So I will either see you in a bit or see you in the morning. Good morning. It was an interesting night. I don't know how much sleep I got in the end, but I went to bed at around nine o'clock-ish. Well, I, I, I put my headphones on and started listening to an audio book. I dropped off at some point, woke up at 12. Uh, because the wind was was back, it was blowing a hoolie, as they say. I mean, the tent seemed to hold up all right. It was kind of getting a bit flappy, then, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much sleep I got in the end. It was a bit broken, but I've had some sleep. So I'm. It's just gone seven o'clock. I'm just gonna make some coffee. It's a bit chilly out here, but I imagine that's mainly because it's still early morning. The sun's out, it's not many clouds, so I'm imagining it's gonna warm up a little bit as the morning goes on. But I'm gonna get a get a coffee inside me, get packed up, and then get moving. now along 
along this wall. Uh, got a bit of a hill to climb up now, and I think it might be downhill from there on. I think I'm relatively close to Gidley now. I say relatively close, I think it's still four or five kilometers away, but getting closer. It's a nice day, the wind's dropped right off down here, which is nice. Sun's out, it's all good. Cutting my trek a little bit short, I'm going to be finishing up in a place called Tinkum, which is a couple of kilometres from where I was hoping to stop. But my wife's on the way and um, I'm shattered. So, lovely view. Oh! Horses, loads of horses around here, which is lovely. And I've got a nice bit of nice bit of road to walk on. So yeah, it's been it's been an experience, that's for sure. Um, I think next time they learn from some of my mistakes. And yeah, onwards and upwards, but I'm glad I've done it. Glad I've managed to see it. Yeah, 90, 98% of the way through, which is good. So, thanks for watching. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it a bit more than my feet did. That's for sure. And I'll see you in the next one.